Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to do a Let's Play of Tabletop Gods. But before I get to that, I want to mention Happy Father's Day to all those fathers out there. Because it's Father's Day as I am posting this. And this is what I got from one of my sons. It's, uh... <laughs> yeah. it's, it's not a Batman uh, thing. It's a, uh, it's a VR headset, if you hadn't noticed. There you go. So this VR headset I would play tabletop gods in, but it's just way too powerful and out of time. So uh, we're going to have to wait about a million years before we get to use that one. So uh, let me put on the Rift S for now. This is what I'm going to play with the Rift S. I'm going to play some tabletop gods. All right, slip this all the way down the back of my head, pop these thingies out, make sure my ears are in the right position. Put the Mantis headphones on. And uh, yeah, we should be ready to go. So raise this up. Now I've actually played this before, so I've got some levels completed, but let's uh, start from the beginning. Humans versus humans. See, I actually might actually go back a bit. Uh, I can't remember the controls though. How do I swap? Ooh. Reset button, deploy. I have to work this out quick because. I just have to put this down anyway. Here it is. Cannon tower. Let's get some cannon towers in. Okay, I'm ready. Ooh. Knights cost four mana to deploy. Knights cost four mana to deploy. Oh, we're going to use deploying right here, right? Knights cost four mana. Uh, so, other than me constantly disappearing, how do I get my uh, palette back up? Here it is. Okay, I'm going to bring a join in. Uh, how much giants to deploy? Six. I'm gonna get a giant in there. Make sure my headset right. Oh, I didn't push it in. It's my bad. Thanks. Shouldn't have lost that tower. That was really stupid. Your giants have leveled up. Mana generation has increased. That's one less enemy stronghold. Six, five, four, three, two, 
one. That giant was so close to destroying it. Round over. Round two. Prepare for war. Uh, let me put these here. Okay, so the idea basically of this game is to take out the enemy towers and make you keep your towers. It's 2-1 at the moment because I've destroyed this one here for me. And um, An enemy has leveled up. I've destroyed two An of theirs, three of theirs now. If you don't really need to, you just need to play really aggressive. You could just do this first mission probably just with uh, with um, giants, a lot of giants. Oh, they're going right around the back, and they. Your giants have leveled up. Giants. Destroyed and enemy's mana generation has increased. Okay, there we go. Archers. That's one less enemy stronghold. Okay, we're definitely going in for the final kill here. It's 5 1. If you noticed, I've actually done this 6 0, I believe. Knights are already in battle. Archers. Knights. All of your knights are already in battle. Oh, it's game over in a second, anyway. All of your knights are already in battle. Everything's in battle knights. already. Your knights have leveled so anyway, you get knights, you get to play the undead, you also get to play other teams and all that. It's a pretty decent RTS game. It's very simplistic. Most RTS games are... I wonder what the 20... Oh, that's the whole thing, isn't it, really? So yeah, that's kind of the first arena uh, story sort of level. And then 6-1, uh, maybe 6-1 is all I've done on that really. Humans versus undead. Round one. Okay, so you can put defenses down to begin with. And sometimes it's a, not a bad idea to, you know, just stick some towers down. Cannon towers cost four miles to like so, four. and then uh, you just want to get some uh, troops on their way. Like so. And then we're going to get some archers. We've also got like this armor thing here, and we can also drop a uh, meteorite on this time as well, which is quite handy. Archers cost three mana to deploy. Now we're just gonna uh nice. prevent this. As you see the cannon actually does quite a lot of damage to be fair. And we want a giant. Giant to come in here and start wrecking that. Knights. Knights cost four mana. Yeah. Some more archers, maybe, Mana just in case. Yeah. Right. Oh, 
Ooh, look at the cannons go. Your giants have leveled up. An oh. enemy stronghold has oh, bad guys coming in here. Knights cost four mana to the floor. That's how you deal with them. The enemy has lost a stronghold. They've lost two strongholds now, mate. That kind of gives me a real big advantage. Giant. Part of my uh, troop there. Nice. Uh, should we add up archers and these two? Fireballs are pretty cool. That's like a freaking. That's not fireball. That's a nuke. Giants. Now we're definitely kicking some ass. We'll destroy this one, and we're going to destroy that one, and then we've got the last two there. So yeah, that's cool. Oh, of course, Eight. the time is running out. Seven. I think you get three turns, whoever has the high score wins. We've got three, zero. Three, two, one. Round. Okay, so we've got two, three towers left, and we've uh, got one of them down to halfway. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so we can actually now put more towers down, but there's only a certain amount of cannon towers you can actually physically put down. So, we need to be extremely careful that we don't you have already deployed the yeah. maximum number spike trap. So then we just put some spike traps down. You've already deployed the maximum and that's number what we're going to do. Oh, that's so good. Knights cost four mana to deploy. We've got some uh, zombie-like characters here. You have destroyed an enemy stronghold. Well, that's helpful. Probably could do get some archers in, really. Oops, I want to put them there. More giants in. Mana generation has increased. Knights. Your giants have leveled up. Okay, so we're going to get another town, and it leaves us with one tower, and then we basically win. It's as simple as that. And it. It is a pretty decent game, it's super clear in the Rift S, to be fair. I think I've not played it on the Rift S yet, and this is the first time I've played it on the Rift S. And this has got no super sampling added, it's just damn good. Fireball. And we take out them, with a big mushroom cloud. You are victorious. And GG. That's us victorious. Yeah, it's a damn decent game. It's very simplistic, like I said. I like the way like the characters kind of uh, kind of do a victory dance. That's pretty damn cool. But when it comes to RTSs, this is fun, versus human. fun RTS game. Very, very fun RTS game to play. Prepare for war. I'm gonna go with some cannons first. Cannon. These here, I don't know we put these here. Have been lately, haven't I? War. War. Oh, now I'm on the zombie kind of side. Skeletons. Okay, so uh, 
We're gonna wait for some more of these shambling hogs. Seven, seven mana. mana. Skeleton. Get some skeletons in there to stop this uh, painfully kicking my ass. Skeletons cost three mana to deploy. And we need some more shambling hogs. Flesh lobbers. Let me get some flesh lobbers in. Your hogs have leveled up. Shambling hogs. And I lost my hog. Takes seven mana for this though. It's, it's quite a seven mana to the sky. Mana generation has increased. Do you get a lot of skeletons? You can actually get like a something later on that creates more of these, which is really handy. Shambling hopes. Just keep ditching these. Just Plenty's over here to destroy this one. Obviously the cannons are lethal to the skeletons. An enemy troop has leveled up. Well that's not good, but we should take that tower right now. That's one less enemy strong. Fresh slobbers should be able to reach that far, right? I don't know, they've got real poor range. Let's just get wiped out like that. Mana generation has increased. Shambling hopes. The Shambling hopes leveled up ones, so they're pretty bad. Ass. It seems like they're attacking the actual uh, the giant. Yeah, well, the whole game is me looking down, as you can't. As you can obviously tell. And obviously when you get a territory you can go further up. Skeleton. My shambling hog actually do some damage to that. Probably not, right? One. So I only destroyed one, that's not great. I need to really get my uh, kicks on. Spike trap. You've already deployed the map. All my spike traps. Skeleton. Alright, so we got that one down. We need to get the last one shambling hogs in here to survive. An enemy troop has leveled up. I'm gonna keep attacking one side right now. Well, I'm a bit worried about this side as well. Well, my uh Shambling hogs are level two. You can tell by the stars, they've got two stars on them. I think it goes up to three stars. Okay, close, close. Skeletons. Mana generation has increased. Hard. Not hard in there. Shambling hogs. Hopefully they can get through some of these towers here because they're causing some serious problems. And that tower's about to go. Destroyed an enemy stronghold. Flesh lover. Shambling hopes. Skeletons. 
Skeletons. Skeletons cost three mana. Mana generation has increased. Okay, so we've taken down their towers. Uh, the defense towers, I mean, as well as their uh, tower towers. Which is fantastic. All of your hulk, shambling hulks, are ready to the skeletons. Fireball. 506, I need to drop this. Your hulks have fireball still charging up. Okay. Oh, that's we've got two towers two, still left. One. Round over. Final round. Prepare for war. You've already deployed the okay, here we go. Skeletons. I don't think they got a chance. Okay. Need more Shambling Hulks really, don't we? Uh, level 3 now, Shambling Hulks. So my Shambling Hulks are level 3, so they can kick some pretty good ass. Let's put another tower here though, that's the only issue. Skeletons. Skeletons cost three mana to deploy. The skeletons are only like level one. An enemy troop has leveled up. Harden. Oops, I'm gonna harden now a bit too late. Shambling hulks. It's really hard to get them when they're like that bad. Behind it, destroying me on that. Did I not get the right place? No, no I've got one of them. Skeletons. An enemy stronghold has fallen. Fireball. Your flesh lovers. The skeletons. All of your skeletons are already in flesh lockers. Yeah, plenty of flesh lockers, but we're going to win anyway. Well, it's one tower to knock down and then we're done. Yeah, it's it's a lot more difficult than this, trust me. This looks really simple, but it actually does really, really get difficult. Oh, I missed a strong part. I missed a strong part here. Holy crap. Shambling hulks. All of your hulks are already in the Skeleton yeah, get this in there. I really want to lose this. And GG. That is definitely cool. And with XP, you can a lot more masks and stuff. So I'm going to back out, I think, and show you that. Like, if you look around, I've got masks just here. And uh, you get these blocks as well to unlock. There's 1723. This is all levels. As soon as you level up, you get more stuff. So and then, you, obviously, you can see. And then there's more unlockable masks here. These masks are definitely cool, like that one there. I'll get to level 50. And there we go. So anyway, this is... Tabletop Gods. And uh, yeah, uh, let me just go back to saying how good it actually looks on the Rift S. Looks, looks pretty damn good. This is Tabletop Gods on the Rift S. And if you like what you see, please give me a like. If you dislike what you see, you can hold back. <laughs> well, you can do whatever you like, but please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and it's uh, 
goodbye from me.